Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad lesson. So let's get cracking. Friends, today's lesson is in code blocks. Let's hit code blocks. We are going to hit create new code block. And of course, friends, once we get here, we need to click create new design. Now, friends, a user asks, why is there no align in code blocks? And I'm going to show you really quickly. If we bring out a square and a cylinder and we just hit play, you don't need a line because they both happen at zero, zero. I'm going to add a move command, which is how you move things. And this way we can take the second item and I'm going to raise it up. So remember its height is 20. So it is right now at zero, zero. That is how the world is defined. If I raise it by 10 and hit play, you will see that both items drop in, but the cylinder is raised up. You can see I made it a hole. If I switch it back to orange, it'll show up a little bit more clear. And you can see how Tinkercad objects are all dropped in at zero on the X, zero on the Y, and zero on the Z because it splits the item's measurements. So real quickly, a fun thing to do with code blocks is since it's so math dependent, you can use that math in your favor. Real quickly, I'm gonna hit math. I'm gonna create a variable. And I'm gonna, instead of calling it item, I'm gonna rename it height. I'm gonna set that height to 10. That is gonna be the height of all of my objects. So then what you can do is you can bring in a piece of math and where that number used to be I can now change it to a math problem where it is divided by 2. So then if I bring in the variable height from now on my projects can all raise up height divided by 2. So I said 10 where really the height was 20. This is where you can change it and if I hit play boom same project. But if I duplicate that move and I bring it up in between, now it's going to set the red brick and the orange cylinder both at the same height. If I wanted to change my math, I could pull this piece out and let's say I wanted to do minus five. What I do is I grab this whole chunk of math and I put it on the left side. Now I watch kids get confused. They try and drop it in on the right edge and it just doesn't work. See how that moves? You gotta bring your math's left edge and drop it in. I'm gonna change the second chunk of math to minus and I'm gonna put my silly number five. And then I'm gonna go from this math piece and drop it in here. And now my second item will do the height divided by two minus five. When we hit play, bam, that part is down below. Now if I change its radius to eight, just for giggles, and I make it a hole, when you hit play, all of a sudden we have got a cube with a whole piece in place to make it final. We can simply go back to modify and create a group. When you hit play, you have now got a cube with a hole cut into it. I don't know why I created it, but friends, I wanted to show you how you align things in code blocks. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it, a fun and fast lesson that shows you how to align things while using code blocks. Of course, friends, if you're looking for more lessons, I will have them in the cards above. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.